To sum up this whole video in a 7 seconds, Rockstar Games is looking to hire an editor for a trailer for a game that we don't know about, there's a bunch of fake Grand Theft Auto 6 leaks going around as always that are fake, and GTA 4 was removed from Steam because Microsoft no longer supports the service that generates keys for GTA 4 on Steam. Welcome back to the channel class, have a seat. Crackhead YouTuber here. Today we're gonna get down and dirty into the nitty gritty of everything that I just summed up into seven seconds. So if y'all enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. A little love goes a long way. Let's go for 2,000 likes because we got a lot to talk about today. And uh, I just wanna say thank y'all so much for the amazing support on the channel. So let's start things off with the nitty gritty. What we have first is a job listing that anyone can view publicly on the Rockstar Games website. I also have it linked down below in the description. And what we have is a job listing for a post-production video editor. And the description of this listing is as follows. Rockstar Games is looking for a highly capable and experienced video editor who can work with a team to capture game footage and edit video game trailers to the highest standard. The ideal candidate will have experience with both drama and documentary and be able to craft a compelling narrative. This is a hands-on position, capturing footage alone or working with a team of capture artists and then editing a high-quality trailer. Storytelling is a very important aspect of our games, so the editor must be able to communicate the emotional content and excitement of a game within a 60-second format. This is an interactive procedure. Part of the trailer making process is shooting scenes in a virtual 3D world using proprietary tools. You will need to be not only an editor, but a director and cinematographer as well. And the responsibilities for this job include create game trailers, TV commercials, and other marketing and production-based materials. Edit high-end marketing materials in both a supervised and unsupervised capacity. Initiate concepts and work within a team to develop the best assets possible. Take responsibility for project projects and self-produce direct when necessary or alternatively work closely with a director to realize a specific vision. So there's a lot of things to talk about when it comes to this. Firstly, I just want to say that Rockstar Games is always posting job listings. This happens multiple times per month, it seems like. I mean, Rockstar Games is a multi-million dollar company. So job listings are not anything new. This one's just a bit interesting because obviously it's talking about editing 60 second video game trailers. Now, what could these trailers be? Well, they could just very well be editors for GTA Online and Red Dead Online DLC trailers. That's a logical explanation, right? Yes and no. And the reason that I say no is because of an interesting line within this description that says, must be able to communicate the emotional content and excitement of a game within a 60 second format. So do online trailers really capture emotion? I don't necessarily think so. What I think is that online trailers just showcase what is gonna be coming into the game. For instance, the GTA Online Casino. It's gonna showcase the casino, a bunch of flying weaponized motorcycles and robot guns and laser beams that we're gonna get in the game and be able to spend money on shark cards to buy. Of course, there's really nothing emotional when it comes to that other than me crying because I'm going to empty my wallet to buy a shark card to buy the stuff. I'm only kidding. I modded myself a billion dollars in the game. So anyways, when it comes to online, I don't really see those trailers featuring emotional content. But you know what does? Well, Rockstar Games trailers and teasers for actual big projects and games. For example, GTA 4, GTA 5, and Red Dead Redemption 2. And those obviously are Rockstar Games just most recent like teasers and trailers for big projects that we've gotten. And all of those, one thing they have in common is they are right around the one minute mark in that 60 second format that this video editor is going to need to compile everything into. And what do these trailers all do? Well, they showcase the content of the game, whether it be landscapes, cities, things that are going to be going on, and they also portray emotion, whether it be Nico Bellic's speech at the end of the GTA 4 teaser, Michael talking about why did I move here? I guess it was the weather in Grand Theft Auto 5. And Arthur Morgan saying, when the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. These are all emotions that are captured and portrayed really well within these GTA and Red Dead or just Rockstar Games one-minute teasers. So, 
When it comes to this, we can't say that, oh, this is 100% for, like, GTA 6. GTA 6 trailer is going to be coming soon because they're going to hire an editor, this and that. That would be great. We all want Grand Theft Auto 6. That doesn't confirm anything. And it may not even be for GTA 6. Like I said, it could just be for GTA Online. I don't think that's the case, but it could be for another project that Rockstar Games has. I've heard a lot of people speculating maybe Bully 2. I don't really feel like that'd be the case. Rockstar Games did acquire a video game company who is developing a medieval game, which we talked about a few months ago. So could it be for that? Possibly. Could it be for a project that's not even on our radar? Yes. And no, we don't know. So there's really not much to say, but as far as this goes that's what a lot of people have been talking about in the community as of late a lot of speculation going on with that so wanted to get that out of the way that one is just kind of a 50 50 it is for a trailer but we don't know what it's for now next up we actually have a paste bin leak now this comes from reddit and it's a compilation of a bunch of paste bin leaks that a user put together and it's a collection of leaks for rockstar games bethesda nintendo and much more now as for the rockstar games tab well it says that rockstar is going to be bringing grand theft auto 3 san andreas vice city rdr1 bully and grand theft auto 5 to the nintendo switch gta 5 will be one of the first games to use the 64 gigabyte cartridges so this one's very interesting very random right there gta rockstar red dead all this stuff on the nintendo switch i've never really played a nintendo switch i bought one for my little brother for christmas in 2018 but other than that like i'm not too familiar with the switch how it works so that's interesting but really that that's that's it. That's not really giving us any information we want to hear. The next one is a very bold and broad statement that says Bully 2 is going to be announced sometime in 2020 and it's set in a college town. So this is just a very bold statement with nothing to back it up. So we can go ahead and say that because we have nothing to back this claim up, that this is fake. Now, when it comes to things like that, we don't have anything saying that this is real. We don't have anything saying that it's fake. So in that case, we're always going to lean towards the sign of this being fake. Of course, Bully 2 would be awesome. And while I know that this is fake, man, I still get excited thinking about a Bully 2. That would be really, really cool. Now, the last bullet that we have here is pretty interesting. It says, GTA 6 is in production for next generation systems. It's going to be set in the entire state of Florida, where you can travel through the entire state. Sony has, in fact, paid for a timed exclusivity for six months after launch. That's fake. They paid a hefty fee for it. This time, it will also feature a women as one of the three main protagonists. Yes, they actually misspelled women. So, how do we know this is fake? Well, it goes on to talk about GTA 6 taking place in the entire state of Florida. Now, this could mean a magnitude of things. Yeah, the entire state, which would obviously be fake. Or if this coincides with the Project America leaks, that means we would have Miami or Vice City. We would have the Florida Keys and then the Everglades, the swamps. And that would be pretty much a lot of the state of Florida. So, that would be interesting interesting there but when he says state of florida i just imagine like the whole state and that just wouldn't happen so next he says sony has paid for a timed exclusivity for six months after the launch and <laughs> come on that's comical there is no way and it says they paid a hefty fee for it Rockstar Games is a multi-billion dollar company. There is no way that Sony could even come close to Rockstar Games in terms of paying them to release GTA 6 for the PlayStation six months ahead of the Xbox. There's no way Rockstar would agree to that. You talk about losing business. GTA 5 made like a billion dollars within the first week. You think Rockstar is really going to lose out on that? No. So that right there, that is, that, that's fake. And there's people who believe this, and I feel sorry for you guys. But that's why I make these videos. Now, how do we know that all of this is fake? If that's not enough, well, let's add some insult to injury. So, in the Sony tab for the Pacebin leak, it talks about different games, exclusivities, and things like that. But it says, speaking of which, Sony has decided to return to E3, but no press conference. Just a state of play and a booth on the show floor. Now, why is this fake? Well, just a few days ago, Sony announced that they are not going to be going to E3 in 2020. Not at all. No chance of a booth on the show floor, a state of play, nothing like that. They're not going to be there just like they were not there in 2019. So, lastly, what we have to talk about, aside from all the GTA 6 stuff, is GTA 4 
disappeared from Steam. Where did it go? So if you tried to play GTA 4 or tried to buy GTA 4 on Steam within the last few days, you'll notice that it is gone. Uh, at first, a lot of people were speculating that this is most likely due in part to music licensing issues. Uh, this actually happened at Vice City on Steam in 2012, and it was removed from Steam only to be added back on uh, just a short time later. But Rockstar actually came out with a statement confirming what is going on. And they said, Grand Theft Auto 4 was originally created for the Games for Windows Live platform. With Microsoft no longer supporting Games for Windows Live, it is no longer possible to generate the additional keys needed to continue selling the current version of the game, a Rockstar representative said. We are looking at other options for distributing GTA 4 for the PC, and we will share more information as soon as we can. So, hopefully this isn't put on the back burner, and hopefully GTA 4 does hit shells of Steam once again very soon. That way, those of you who somehow don't already own the game can now play GTA 4 on Steam or on the PC. So, no worries there. Hopefully it'll be back soon. But that's that. Just kind of wrapping up a whole bunch of Rockstar Games information in one video. If y'all did enjoy the video, well, be sure to help a brother out by giving it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing too. That way y'all never miss out on another daily video game upload, man. Please, please spread some cheese on a broke cracker. I love you guys so much. Thank you all for tuning in. I'm Zach Cox, and I hope to see you in the next video.